could be anywhere in the world. But here am I, in China, in a city just outside of Shanghai. Look at the people around me, young people, embracing what the Western world has to offer. Starbucks, branded coffee, designer's clothes. And what I see now is a new China that is embracing the values of the West. You know, for 40 years, China shut itself away from the world. The door was closed and nobody or very few came out of China and even fewer information got into China. But look at China today, look at the people around me. They are hopeful people, hopeful for the future and hopeful that the change in this country will bring a lot of good for them, both economically as well as spiritually. But are the people ready to face the world? Is China ready to face the world? We, some church leaders, uh, realize that uh, uh, for the last uh, almost 200 years, we're always receiving, receiving, and uh, so many foreign uh, missionaries that laid down their lives for us. And we really can be uh, uh, really uh, mobilizing our Christians and become uh, a new generation of uh, missionaries and to go to abroad and to uh, receiving that uh, great commission and to go. But I, I believe uh, China uh, not only going to be uh, the largest uh, Christian nation in the world, going to be the largest uh, missionary sending base of the world. Now spiritually, the church is big in terms of numbers, but they're still very young and, and in many ways lacking in depth. If China churches were to influence the world, now who are there to train them and provide them the infrastructure? I see our organization has a role to play. We can come in and provide the people here with training, discipling, and empower them and get preparing them, equip them for the future that is ahead. When the May 2008 earthquake hit uh, Sichuan, it opened a wide door for us to minister among these people. When the earthquake struck on May the 12th, there were about 30,000 people that were displaced and hurt by the earthquake. We were able during the short time to mobilize more than 300 um, volunteers, believers from all over China. They came. They brought with them goods, blankets, tents, food items, water. We're here now where the earthquake happened. We came here with the hope of helping these people. I believe that the work we do on this project will allow people to receive and experience the love of God. Opportunities to share the gospel with them was wonderful. We were able to comfort them with the words from the scripture. The city government saw what we did and welcomed us and gave us the open doors and permit to go to some of the very, very affected areas. Some of the believers came to help in the earthquake situations and decided to settle down in Sichuan areas, started the small factories that were able to put together materials that can build temporary housing. A city government in Meishan requested that we build a school for them that was destroyed by the earthquake. We were able to raise the money from within the country and help from outside. And within a month, we erected five buildings for the students. And when I look at missions in terms of what China can do, and when I look into the future, I see here a tremendous force for resourcing in terms of material, finances, and also people. The churches in China are waking up to the missions and the needs of the world. I, I believe China going to be the largest missionary sending base of the world.